Dear students, now we are moving towards style group that is the next group available in home ribbon after the paragraph group. So in today's module, we will use different available styles and we will learn that how you can create your own style in the style group and then you can use that style. So let's start. So we are on the same Word document on which we were working and here is the style group. So we have learned clipboard, font and paragraph group and we are trying to focus on style groups. So what are actually the style groups? Style groups are basically the predefined different kind of styles which are available to make your document consistent. For example, I show you from here that I have written this heading and then this heading then for example there is this heading so this two and this one should have the same font size the same font color if they are bold then all of these headings should be bold so taking care all of this is a tedious job so what we can do we can go into the style and you can see that I have already selected the style of heading one. So that style will be used for this wherever I will put heading of this similar level. For example, let's see, we want to see that whether the same heading has been selected for this second heading. Yes. So I have selected this. So let's try to make a difference if i select this thing and if i say heading one so you can see that instantly all of the text has been changed having same font name font style which was of the main heading so this one all right so different styles are available so at the moment this text has normal heading style so you can see that this is normal then for example no space so select this one then you can see that this is normal this is no space then this is heading one heading two heading three heading four and so on and by right clicking on any of the heading you can modify the style so for example if i want to say that every time heading one should be of 18 or like 20 it should have the color of red that's it for example if i select this thing so let's see what happens so this heading one whenever you will select this heading one so all of the content will automatically be shifted of having the same style which we have selected so for example if i over heading one so you can see that heading one has been used here as well so i am now doing Control z to move to the original document so you can click over here as well to move to the same document so these are different styles which are already available and you can also create your own style so for example you say create a style and let's give it a name my style and now let's see this my style is available right click on it modify and say that anything in my style should be bold should be italic should be underlined should be of this size should be written in this font and for example anything else which we can do the color should be blue okay so if for example i want to use my style over here so i clicked on this content 
and click on the my style so you can see that the font and font family and font color all of the things have been shifted to have my style so this mean wherever in the document i want to use my style i will simply select that content and say this should be according to my style this should be according to my style this world should be according to my style so this means that you have created your own style and that style will remain consistent throughout the document having the same formatting let's summarize today's module we have learned the style group in the home ribbon and we have seen that there are different styles available which we can use we can modify the existing styles according to our requirements and even we can make our own styles as we have made my style